Hello and welcome to Cashew Bird. Question, how do you turn almond milk into almond cheese? The answer is with a special enzyme. This is Vzyme or transglutaminase. And even though you probably never heard about it, it's a very common enzyme in the food industry. So um, they used to process meat, some types of dairy like yogurt and um, cream cheese, and also tofu, some types of tofu. So this is a very common ingredient, but you never see it listed on the ingredients. That's because this is a helper. And by the time you purchase the product, the enzyme is not active anymore. You can't really tell if they use um, this enzyme or not. And that's why you've never seen it, but it's used in a lot of products. So at Cashew Bird, we use it um, to make our um, cheese variations. And what's the difference between using it or using coconut oil or xanthan gum, for example, to create a textured cheese? Well, fermentation needs a lot of water. And here you have a lot of moisture in this structure. But if you use agar or if you use coconut oil, it, it makes it difficult to ferment. So the texture won't change as much and the flavor won't change as it needs to be. And that's why this cheese allows much more flavor and texture development than if you use um, something else. And this is the liquid version. So um, most of the brands will be in powder. And if you use powder, you just need to add a little bit of water, dissolve it, and then add to the cheese about the same amount or a little bit more because some of the powder are a bit weaker. This is a bit more concentrated than some of the powder ones. Another thing to watch out when you are purchasing it is that some will contain gelatin or milk powder because the applications that it was used, it is better texture with those ingredients. So mine is of course all vegan, it's only transglutaminase um, and some uh, liquid sugars. But if you don't have access to our products, then you might need to watch out where are you getting and uh, what ingredients are listed. But another thing that you need to watch out is also for the conditions for this enzyme to work. So ours need um, a pH below 6.5 to work. So cashew milk would work um, right, just make it and it work, uh, will work right away. But if you make almond milk or soy milk, you need to drop the pH first and that's why it's important to ferment. So the pH will be right and then you can get the milk to curdle. So if you want this recipe or many other recipes, visit our website box.cashewbear.com and if you want ingredients, we ship to all European countries and you can get it on cashewbear.com. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch more content like this and see you next time at Cashewbear.